Holy crap, Drax. You gotta stop doing this, man. It's weird. We are approaching the quarantine zone. How long was I out for? 15,338 ticks. That's very specific. The betrayer is ready to begin our mission. She has requested your presence in the cockpit. Gamora's on our side, Drax. She is the spawn of my sworn enemy, a murderess and a traitor. I do not trust her. We'll try. We're supposed to be a team. I make no promises. slipped into the quarantine zone. Oops. Our navigation malfunction. Oops. Mora? Up here, Peter. Hey, that's my chair. Oh, then why aren't you in it? I was, uh, strategizing. It's one thing to get into the zone, but we still gotta catch that monster. Right. So did I miss anything? Other than a ton of suspicious glares from Drax, not really. Now, if you're done strategizing, feel free to grab your seat. We're almost ready to go. Okay, here we go. Rocket crew, Drax, get in here. We're going in. We still have a few ticks before the next time window, actually. The next one? Novacore security gear resets every rotation. We want to be in and out before our code expires, or we'll get stranded. We'll wait for the next reset. We'll get a full rotation to do this. Nice. <laughs> oh, why is the Novanet still up? Thought we were going in. It appears the assassin's contacts are as untrustworthy as the betrayer herself. Oh, please don't tell me Gamora's backdoor coats are bust. We nearly went broke getting them. Relax, Rocket. We still got a few ticks before the next time window. The network just reset. You can enter the sequence, Peter. Zero, four, five, one. That's it? Four digits? Suspicious. These security measures are too simplistic for Novacore. It's not that simple. The code only works on this date for this ship. Oh, I get it. Gamora's codes are more like an encryption key of some sort, designed to integrate there. popular in the Shatari army, especially with Thanos in charge. Yeah, it's probably all harmless now. I mean, Novacor had 12 years to get rid of the heavy-duty explosives, right? <laughs> That's why I like you, Quill. You're so pure. Oh, the wonderful and terrible things I could do with all this tech. Stay focused, Rodent. We do not come here to scavenge. Why not? The Milano's weapon systems could use an overhaul. Plus, there's good money in it. 
piece that we seek is far more valuable to the monster queen of Seknoff Nine than any illegally acquired salvage. Whoa! Oh, the place is really shifty. I'm not seeing a monster, but that big cylinder up ahead looks like the mining ship Peter's friend said to look for. Friend? For a night? And you'll see the monster as soon as we place Rocket's monster summoning thingies. Flark, yeah. Group, quell soda. Team Rocket's up first. I still do not understand why I must remain on board with the assassin. Oh, because you're part of Green Team. You assigned me to the team before you named it. My skin is not green. It's teal. Teal? To trick the monster into going inside that mining rig, we need to place thumpers on both sides. Two sides, two teams. And two clips to the drop site. Grounds to a stable to land a ship. You'll need to jump. That's our cue. Let's go, group. <laughs> Don't worry. Once the thumpers are placed, we'll meet in the middle and we'll capture the monster together. Very well. cylinder thing is our rendezvous? Yeah, that's the mining rig. So weird seeing it all clustered together like this. Bits and pieces of a war that span the entire galaxy held together by pink goo. Ebrium based nano resin. Whatever. I'm just saying it's a lot to take in. an old Nova Corps frigate. Nice! Come on, dude. People probably died on that ship. Killjoy, why do you even bring us here if the place is so sacred? I can name at least a dozen planets with monsters on them, so why here? You think it's to impress Gamora? Like, don't know if you noticed, Rocket, but people aren't exactly falling over themselves to hire us. Oh, I have noticed. If this job pans out, sure we'll get money, but also a rich new client. We need to impress Lady Hellbender with a monster she's interested in, not just any old critter. Which is why we should have gone after Fin Fang Foom. We won't impress no one if we're dead. You know, I think I do sort of get it. You know, I like this. This is fun. The three of us hanging out, just like when we started this gig, before you know who joined us. I do not hate everybody. I tolerate Quill. <laughs> The three of us have had some good... Careful on that thing, Quill. You spot something out there? After we sell the monster, I say we head to nowhere. Do some gambling. <laughs> ah, you, you can't bluff your way out of a planting pot. Pretty sure that way's a dead end. Uh, you sure? Ah, there we go. Paths this way. Come on. How can you even tell? Just trust me, all right? Hey, group, you think we could find pieces of the Trion shard in here? How'd you even know the other way was a dead end? Because, unlike you, I have a very keen sense of direction. <sighs> Stop. 